hello everyone in this session we will discuss the next controller that is the integral controller the another name is the reset controller another name is the reset controller here name itself it represents generally this integral con uh, the integral controller is represent like this the controller has gain is ki by s gain is ki by s so so you, sh you should add the ki by s the system so to understand this just i will take some example here so here the example is if the system has some gain that is 1 by s into s plus 1 the system is j j j of s into h of s okay so if you find out the characteristics of the equation of the system you will get the s square plus 10s plus 1 okay next if you add if for the system if you add ki by s so here we have the system and summation point here the ki summation point and this is the ki by s with that g of s and this is the output this is the output we will get it yes for this particularly then the new system will become like this the new g of s h of s is like this how it becomes so it is multiplied by ki by s ki by s means s become s square remaining is the s plus one so finally we will get the system is like this if you write the characteristic equation the system is s cube s cube plus 10 s square s square plus and ki ki is there okay so if you look about the system if you look at by injecting integral controller into the system type will increase so look at here here the type is only one but here the type is 2 what is the meaning of the type type is nothing but the poles at the origin pole at the origin here origin is two poles here origin is only one increases so whenever we have a one condition that condition is whenever the type will increases then steady state error will decreases whenever the type is increases steady state error is decreases this is very very important point type is always inversely proportional to the steady state error type is inversely proportional to the steady state error but the but but by the steady state error will be decreases generally but what is look at here here if you observe the ce characteristic equation there is s square plus 10s plus 1 so if you analyze it it will be stable system but look at here here we have the square term s is 10 s square and what about s power 1 we are missing the s power 1 term that's why it is become unstable so to decrease the steady state error by adding the integral controller to the system what happened system will become unstable so before applying before applying integral controllers so before applying the integral controller to the system first check the stability of the system first you have to check the stability of, of the system after completion of checking the stability of the system then you will apply the integral controller system okay so this is about the integral controller system in this we have to learn whenever we are adding the integral controller system the type will increases whenever the type increases steady state error will be decreases the reason is the type is inversely proportional to the steady state error so that's why before applying the integral controller check the stability of the system okay next derivative controller system so name itself if you observe here the derivative controller system is like this gc of s so derivative means d then the gain is like this so derivative gain into s okay so same example to analyze the system the example is generally we have the system is there g of s equal to we have one system the system is s square 
by s plus 10 is the system okay so by applying this we will get the new gain of the system is become like this so we are adding kdi kds so that's why we will get the numerator s square s plus 10 then s s will be 0 then it will become kd by s plus 10 s into s plus 10 now if you look at here what happened this is generally unstable system why it is the reason is s square so the reason why it is on sq plus 10 s square okay plus 1 equal to 0 this is the unstable system unstable system so if you look at here the system become the stable system how so if you find out the ce for this this is s square plus 10 s plus kd so all powers so this is square s kd is there then become the stability okay so what happen when you applying the when you applying the derivative controller that is kd into s to the system then type of the system will decreases look at here initially system has the s square that means two poles at the origin but by adding the derivative controller we have only one pole at the origin that means type will be decreases whenever the type will be decreases the stability will be increases this is also important thing the type will decide the stability then the stability will be increases but whenever the type decreases with the stability steady state error also increases with the stability steady state error also increases so whenever the system is stable but it has a more steady state error then the system is become the less accurate system the accuracy will be disturbed accuracy will be disturbed okay type is inversely proportional to the stability and the steady state error both will be increases at a time okay this is about the derivative controller okay when the derivative control is applied to the system the stability will be increased with that steady state error also increases next next is pa controller what is this meaning pa controller proportional integral controller proportional integral controller so here if you observe here the proportional integral controller i will write like this that is it has the control gain that is combination of proportional means kp and integral means 1 by s into k 1 by s into k so this is the combination of proportional as well as a integral controller so by doing the modification what we will get here we will get so finally we will get we have the s and kp into s plus k is there the controller is like this kp into s plus k is there so if you observe here by adding this for the system we have to add look at here there is one pole is there at zero pole at origin is there one pole at the origin what about this here we have the zero that zero value s equal minus ki by kp the zero value is the minus ki by kp so by combination of this controller we will get the pole at origin and zero at this value so look at here so here what happened we are we are multiplying with this term here the type is increases generally the type value is increased what about steady state error is decreases steady state error is decreases but what about stability what about stability stability is decreases generally steady state error is increase, decreases the stability will be decreases but whenever the zero is added automatically stability will be increases with that we are adding one zero the stability will be increases the decreasing stability will so will be compensated by the adding the zero so the stability is neutral the stability will become the neutral or we can call it as it is unaffected unaffected the reason is 
with that pole there will be zero will be added so that's why adding the zero always improves the stability stability improvement improves this is the proportional okay yeah but finally it will be neutral we can't increase it will be neutral so by combining these two compensator what happen by this accuracy so generally steady state error will be decreases means what happen by this accuracy is increases system accuracy will be increases but stability is neutral so that's why stability is unaffected there is no effect in the stability next pa controller is generally a low pass filter it is a low pass filter okay he hints the noise is filtered out wherever the no pa low pass filter is there then automatically the noise is filtered out unwanted signal will be removed yes what about when the when the low pass filter is added to the system the bandwidth will be decreases here the what happened bandwidth will be decrease whenever the bandwidth is decreases the rise time is increased the rise time will be increases because bandwidth always inversely proportional to the rise time bandwidth always proportional to the rise time what about whenever the rise time is increases system is become more sluggish or slow rise time increases means what is meaning so he has it has a particular rise time this is this is the tr if the rise time increases means it will be like this it will be like this so system will reach this point will be increases so system is become the slow and sluggish okay so by adding the pa controller to the system stability will be balanced and steady state error will be decreases state stability will be unaffected and the steady state error will be decreases here the note is there by adding zero into the system improve the stability stability is proportional to the adding the zeros okay so this is about the pa controller okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you